Alexa, can you play I Like It Like That by Cardi B? I Like It by Cardi B. Bad Bunny and Others on Amazon Music. Hello guys, welcome back to Mic3R CIY. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Echo B4 with only two wires. You're gonna need to add another wire to power the Echo B and I'll show you how to pull that other wire uh, in this video. So the first thing is that you're gonna do, you're gonna, in the box, electric box, you're gonna find your furnace oiler and so that's number one number one here is this one see the number one I'm just gonna turn it off close the box what I did I just pulled all the way from all the way from here from that connection there All the way to here, yeah, be pulling. So I'm gonna leave this here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy another cable. I'm gonna go to Lowe's, and I'm gonna connect them here together with this. And then hopefully they don't have a bunch of staples. I don't think because they probably use a snake to drive this all the way down here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect the, all the, the new cable to this one and I'm going to pull all the way to where the thermostat is going to be, okay? So, let's do it. So I went to Lowe's and I bought like around 20 feet of wires, uh, three wires cable for thermostats. Um, and now I'm just gonna connect uh, the old one with this new one. So I need to build the part of it so I can connect them together. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to start pulling from the basement to where the thermostat is gonna be. Um, so I'm trying, I'm gonna make sure that, you know, I do that, a good connection. So that's why I'm peeling the wires. Uh, very good. So so that way, you know, I don't pull and then one of them gets stuck and and You know come out the, the other one the old one comes out without a new one and that would be a mess that would be terrible so Making sure that everything goes together correctly So this where I'm gonna pull I'm gonna have an issue because I have a staple here that I couldn't take off and I don't have a good ass access. So I got like five staples there that they pull so in case somebody uh, pulled the whole wire from the thermostat. So I'm gonna start pulling. So just pulling this thing and then I'm just gonna cut and put it together with this again. So gonna just pull that from where the thermostat is now or oh, it's gonna be and that'll be it for that wire so let me start pulling hopefully everything goes right and then we just I show you how I do you know I just put the wire in the new plate for the thermostat so this is how you just pull it you know so it should be easy and there you go so cool so i have the wire already you know stapled to the beam to, and everything so now i just did the connection so i put uh the green to the common uh the white one to 
that green one that goes to the valve and then I put the red to the power. So the green one to the valve um, and then the red to power. So now you have the common, the power, the, the 24 volts and the one that goes to the boiler. And everything is connected. Okay, so as you can see, I've already mounted the plate and did the wiring here in the plate. So the red one goes to RC, the white one goes to W1, and then the green one goes to common C. So the green one is the common that I added. The white one is the one to go, that goes to the boiler. And the RC, the red one goes to, uh, is power. So now I'm gonna put the ecopy on and let's see how everything, so it, it starts. Um, so you just plug it in, like, uh, you know, it has the, the pins and all the stuff that should go together. And, you know, you just have to make sure that you press correctly, and put it in correctly, and you should be starting in a few seconds. You probably you should see the B, you know, flapping around. So there you go. It could be, and it's already up. It's saying the temperature in the room is 70 degrees. And then to set it up, you just need to follow the instructions. Pretty easy to follow. So that was it. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, like the video, and see you next time.